It is shaping up to be a good year for the Cesar E. Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation. The March for Justice is this weekend. It's expected to see another huge turnout. And also, its scholarship fund is likely to meet or exceed $50,000. If so, another 20 students will each get $2,500 in scholarships. Back in 2020, during the pandemic, C. Clef had a mere $17,000 for just 10 scholarship recipients. So that, that fund is growing. Jesse DeGoriato caught up with the, one of those lucky few who's now urging others to apply before the March 31st deadline. Hi everyone, my name is Marisol Cortez. I'm a junior at Bates College here in Lewiston, Maine. Far from home in scenic New England, Marisol Cortez says Bates, the small liberal arts college, offers her the education she'll need to someday carry on Cesar Chavez's legacy. Serving the community, going back to your community and luchando for your community, right? By creating a center for her brother with autism and the special needs community in underserved areas of San Antonio. They also have the right to be able to have access to adequate health care, therapy, and other social services. A double major in biochemistry and Latin American studies, Cortez says after graduation next year, it's on to medical school to become a neurologist, a dream that began with the late labor leader Jaime Martinez, creating scholarships to honor his lifelong friend and mentor Cesar Chavez, a household name in the Cortez home. And my dad talked a lot about Cesar Chavez. He actually got to meet Cesar Cesar Chavez and got a flag signed. A United Farm Workers flag that Cortez's father, Armando, still cherishes from his college days. The scholarship and the laptop that came with it, she says, are making it possible to realize her dream. And so I've been able to learn a lot about myself, and I've also been able to grow a lot. The same, she says, can await other students. Getting these scholarships, applying for these scholarships are essential to carry out your sueños, right? Your career aspirations. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.